Welcome back, heroes, to some more Temtem. Last episode, we began the game off. We made our way to Brightwood Demar. So we have to head to the Academia next. But I want to see if we can get the uh, Tem Essence first. Because that is so, so very vital. So let's see if we can grab this. Ayo. Hi, welcome to my shop. Do you like a postcard or an authentic Brycalian ceramic plate? Something to remind you of your amazing vacation. Uh, I'm not on vacation. Oh, I see. Hmm, actually. You do look familiar. Oh wait, I know you. You're Aina's kid, right? My, how you've grown. Last time she brought you to my shop, you were a little uh, bawling baby. You probably don't remember, eh? And look at you now. A new apprentice. Incredible. Anyway, what can I do for you? Looking for something in particular? I am. A, a Temp Essence file. Sure, I think I still have one uh, Temp Essence file left. Let me check. Here it is. No serious Temp Temp Tamer can go without Temp Essence. It's potent stuff. So it comes in tiny vials. One dose is enough to heal your whole squad. But hey, I'd hate to charge a family friend. Let's do something else instead. I'm happy to give you this Tem Essence vial for free, if you're serious about your Tamer career. Ooh, I am. And I don't doubt it, but I need some proof before I give you freebies. If you come from Zadar, you must have caught some wild Temtem -tem on the way. That's the minimum I expect from a Tamer. Bring me any Temtem -tem from the uh, Pristine Coast. Any printers worth the name should be able to. Have a Kaku. Oh, that's the sweetest thing. Lovely. Very well, I think you certainly have what it takes to be a good Tamer. Here, have a Tem Essence vial. Like I said, Tem Essence is very powerful, which is why Tamers usually carry only one dose in this file. But don't worry, you can refill it at a heal Tem machine in any Temporium. And then, some people do have their own supply of Tem Essence. Nice, okay. So we want to get the surfboard as well, but we get that a little bit later on I think. But I'm sorry, I just saw the last one yesterday. Very cool board it was. Ah, okay, we'll come back later then. Also, I want to go ahead and do this. So I got some uh, funds in so we can get the Tem Pass. So let's get that. Purchase. And we can claim level one, which will be nice. <laughs> oh, and claim this as well. And can't get that. But good thing is you get like, um, is that a, yeah, helmet. <laughs> oh, so not only do you get the outfit later on, you get the helmet as well. That's really cool. Yeah, you get like some Novas back so you can get some um, like other things from the store later on. Let's, oh, we're going here, got a side quest. Pick as many side quests as we can as we go along. Oh, dude, I love these free, like, wall arts. Like I said before in the uh, early access, I hope they release these as, like, um, an actual, like, poster. I would be so down to buy that. But uh, I can barely see the person. Hello, have you seen my Piggy Pick plushie? Do you like it? Oh, it's lovely. Yes, uh, I love Piggy Peck. When I grow up, I will be a tamer just to get as many, as a Piggy, piggy Pick as I can. I have a piggy pig farm. Yeah, do you like plushies? You're too old. Hey man, you're never too old to ha enjoy plushies. Um, Grumps like plushies too? Yeah. Oh really? I didn't know. So, when I'm a grown up, I can keep my plushie? Yay. Uh, we'd like to see a real one. Actually, where did you get it? Dad got it for me. It's from Kramer. Oh, that's the creators of uh, Temtem. That's cool. Uh, oh, cool. Yay. But, I would love to see a real piggy pig. Okay, I, I think you can get one on the next route. Uh, I'll find you one. We don't have one right now. Hopefully we can find it later on. Alright, what else can we do? Uh, I feel like there's more side quests, but we need the surfboard. So here's the Academia. Let's do this next. I feel like there was a quest for, like, um, the locker as well. Yeah. Let's talk to you. Oh, no way. Not again. How can I be so dumb? Anything the matter? Uh, ah, sorry, I didn't see you there. Yeah, well, this damn thing, I can't get it open. Uh, uh, I'm Joseph, by the way. Your locker? Exactly. I've forgotten the combination. Again. Again? Yeah, uh, I have... I just have no head for numbers. It just slipped my, from my mind in seconds. Zoom, gone. I need my books and my sandwich. Any clues? You get your locker combination from the reception desk, you see? They give you the slip of paper with a number on it. But I have no idea what I've done with it. Maybe they can give you another copy at the desk? Uh, why don't you do it yourself? Okay, I'll take care of it. Thanks, you're a real friend. Friend, I don't even know you. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm helping Joseph. Oh, don't tell me he's forgotten his locker combination again. Incredible. Well, I can't give you a copy because we don't have one. Uh, we have to comply with uh, Ravine Fellowship Data Protection Policies, you see? Maybe you can find the paper. Must have left it somewhere. Okay, I'll ask him. Good luck. Hey, do you have the combination for my locker? Please say yes, please. Yeah, about that. The recep receptionist says uh, he can't get a copy of your combination. You need to find that slip of paper. 
Uh, where have you been today? Uh, ah, let me think. So, I got up, had breakfast, then went to the Temporium to get some spare Tem cards, then straight came straight to the Academia because I was running late. Uh, then it must be the Temporium. Yeah, it must have slipped from my pocket when I got uh, the Pansons to pay. So after the Temporium then, we will uh, get this slip of paper, and we will get your books and your sandwich, man. Hopefully it's a good sandwich, not a bad one. If you don't want like an egg sandwich go bad, because that's going to, ugh. That would uh, smell and taste bad. Hi there, looking for a piece of paper. You mean like uh, one of those little slips of combination for your locker? Yes. So like this one? That's it. Can I have it? Um, I don't know. Whose locker is it? Joseph's. Ah, figures. He lost it again. Please, I'm begging you, please. Well, you have to do me a little favor in exchange. Nah, joking. Here you are. Oh, thanks. No problem. All right, so we got that. Let's go hand this in. And then we can hopefully get some good rewards. Not sure what we're going to get, but anything will be good, to be fair. Hey, do you have the combination for my locker? Please say yes. I got it. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't guess it. Okay, let's try it. Yes, it opened. You saved my life, friend. Finally. Oh, and here's my lunch. Thank you, I was starving. I'll have the sandwich. You take the apples. Don't like fruit anyway. Hey, okay. One, two, three, four was the password. And he could not remember that. Oh, dude. Uh, what brings you here, young one? Uh, who are you? I'm the headmistress, and this is my office. Plus, I'm terribly, terribly busy. Is there any reason you should be here at all? Uh, anything I can help you with? I think there's two people like uh, haven't shown up to class, I believe. But you help me. You should be studying, my young ward. Actually, there is something you could do for me. Do you know Yusuf or Roger? They're classmates of yours. Uh, sure. Well, they are nowhere to be found. They've been missing every class. Like you, but admittedly, I'm starting to get a bit concerned. Could you see if you can find them? Uh, where'd you last uh, see them? Alas, I have not seen them in at all today. Any clue? Mm, the only thing I remember is that Roger was very excited about getting a surfboard as a birthday present. That was last week. Okay, very well. Please keep it discreet. We absolutely do not want to involve Carlos and make it official. The academia has a reputation to protect. Come back when you find them. I'll make sure you get the best marks. Hey, let's go! <laughs> Doing a little, you know, fetch quest and bam! Getting them straight A's. Probably a little dodgy, but hey man, I'll take it. Alright. Uh, well, let's go to the west over here. I believe I might need the surfboard actually to find them. So I think they're like over there. Oh, there's the, uh, okay, that guy over there on the island you can see in the top left. We'll see more of him later on. But for now, uh, not so much. Right, so what do we want to do? So if ever you're training at Sophia's Dojo in Arasola, find Yusuf and Roger, we can't do that. We need a piggy pick, which we can't get yet either, I believe. I think we do find one a little bit later on. And nothing around here. So I think it's time we head north. And we go and, uh... Go through the Falassian Cliffs, I believe it's called. Let's go check down here, just in case there's like something we can find. Uh, hi, uh, don't mind me. You're not from here. I come from the other side of the water, and yes, I'm a sailor from the Riverine. So yeah, Riverine Fellowship in Tuquiza. Have you been ever been to Tuquiza? Uh, never. It's right across the water, and on the water, we Tuquizians love to get our feet wet. Tuquiza floats on the eastern shore on the Solaro, like a city of driftwood. Anyway, what happened to my manners? Sorry, my name is Pino the Old Soul. I'm Hero Voltsy. Seems like a good one, Hero Voltsy. Come anytime if you want to hear some wonderful tales of the Solaro. Okay, sounds good. Also, oh, that truck right there, I believe that's like a little reference and Easter egg to um, the original Pokemon with Mew under the truck. So we've got a side quest there we can pick up. I'm just going to check down here first. Ooh. I don't remember it being this big, I feel. No item there. Oh, man. Alright. Hey all. Well met, landlubber. So, uh, I'm looking for a ship. Ah, don't we all? Funny how when I'm aboard, all I can think about is sh uh, shore leave. Now that, that I'm leave, I can't wait to jump on another ship. The Solaro gets into your veins. Mark my words. Not that you can understand that. Being, on, being an Earth sort of person. But it does. It does. <laughs> what about the Tequiza Ferry? A fine ship it used to be, but ancient. I reckon it should have spent some time in a dry dock years ago. At the hands of a capable shipwright. The keel is just rotting away. So tell me about yourself. I don't want to brag about my exploits much. I'm a sailor, and a heck of a good hand at that. 
I've seen storms break out of nowhere, ships sinking, tempt him appear out of nowhere. I've been odds, I've been odds no airship captain will ever face. Oh wow. Oh, Pino the Old Soul. A charming old fellow, that old, uh, Pino the Old Soul. He's forgotten more t tall tales than I've ever known. If he were a professor at Albury, they'd give him medals for his lore. He's a sailor, so they give him glasses of Uzo. I reckon he prefers it that way. He's out at the docks if you want to meet him. The man is unmistakable. Must go. I've already spoken to him. But where's the side quest? It was just over here, wasn't it? Go and grab this. Hey, oh. Excuse me, do you know when the ferry for Tequiza is coming? Uh, no idea. But what can you do? I'm starting to worry that it might not come at all. Have you heard anything about it? Uh, nobody can investigate. Would you? That'd be great. It's not such a long trip away. Uh, trip anyway. Could you please find out? Right. Uh, maybe we speak to Pino again? Uh, do you like Arcelaro, my young friend? I could tell you all the sort of tales, please. Uh, so the Denizen Wars. Long time ago, before the Earth broke, there were there were in Denez two great citadels, both equal in dignity. One of them was on the southern rim, and this was right after the waters stirred and Aquiza was built upon them. The river rose proudly over the cliffs and the hills, and it towers a dwarf anything ever made by mortal hand. Are they real? Well, of course they are. Uh, carry on. There was a war, of course. Kings and wars go together like sea and rain. Many good women, men and Temtem ended up at the bottom of the Solaro for no good reason. When after many a battle, there's still no victor and no vanquished. They both brought allies from beyond Denez. From Green Albury came brave knights in scintillating armor. Uh, bassinets glinted under the pan sun, swords red with the blood of their brothers. From Misty Simpanku, fierce warriors arrived in their gold and obsidian yoroi. Uh, mighty was their war cry and Phyllis were they in battle, but honorable the endeavor was not. So why did they fight? Who knows? Not I, uh, nor does anyone in this era. And I doubt the warmongers themselves did. For all they cared, Denez was too small for two rulers. So one of them had to fall, be buried under Solara and forgotten. Ooh, uh, please go on. For long years, the war raged, till the gods angered at all the futile carnage, brought down their cleaver upon the land and chopped Aubrey and Simpanko off. And the war ended, not without victory or defeat, but with utter and mutual exhaustion. So who won in the end? The villagers of Arasola got tired of losing brothers and daughters to the war. They rebelled and threw out their king. Once they heard the news, the uh, Turquisians got rid of the lords. The war ended at once. In time, the fortresses that fell on the Solaro swallowed their every stone. Board and nail. Only the Solaro prevails, and no war is ever won by man, woman, or Temtem. Solaro will claim everything. True. We'll come back at uh, any time if you want to hear another story. Right. Story was nice, but I need to find out about the boat, man. Uh, so where do I start? Toquiza, I guess. The ferry was coming from there, so I'll check the river. Oh, okay. I'm on the case. Right, so, um... Guess we'll do that a little bit later on. It's good to pick up the quests so we can just have them and not worry about, you know, trying to find more quests later on. But the Falassian Cliffs. Let's start making our way up. Get into a few battles and, um... Yeah, see how it goes. Hey, yo, buddy, let's do this. You! You heading to, heading to Brickle to Mar, buddy? Well, you're nearly there, so why not make a little pause and tempt him up? Let's do it, man. Let's tempt him up. Alright, this should be easy. Right, so let's... Energy manipulation you and... Do I know how you pronounce this move? Urushiol? <laughs> That's super effective. Nice. Get destroyed. And then this should also be super effective. Not the bubbles, this. Hey, Not bad, not bad. Picky pick! We will be trying to capture one of them very soon. So we can finish that side quest off. Got big damage. Not bad, not bad. And this should finish you off as well. Hey, Let's go! Swally has just become like second best Temtem on the team already. Oh, Umishi. I do want to get an Umishi. They are so cute. Oh, actually, we'll take some damage for do that. So let's go for a kick. And then this. Yeah, good damage. And B, that's fine, that's fine. Way super effective. It barely uses, like, any stamina. It does, like, so much damage as well. 107 Pansons, not bad at all. 
but frankly, you love to see it. All right, let's go to the next area. Do want to try and find some tempt him on the way, but uh, hey yo, you there, stranger? Throw down. Let's fight. Tempt him up. Get ready to lose. Lose? I ain't losing. I think I should be prepared, but I think if I'm gonna lose a, my a tempt him battle, the first one I'll lose is probably the end of like the first act of the island, which ain't gonna be probably till not this episode, probably the episode after. Won't be a while, but when I get there, you'll know. Let's do some damage. Yeah, boy. Goodbye, Saipat. I don't think it's a one-shot yet, but it should do some damage. Nice. And a cool whip. Oof. There's a little whip. All good. Yeah, boy. You're doing them damage. We ain't losing. No way we lose. All right. Uh, we'll go down this way as well, just in case we can find something. Told you a hundred. Oh, you're not her. Hi there. Who's her? Shh, not so loud. Behind you. No, don't turn around. She's been going on about tem temptology all day. I get it. It's fascinating to her, but all I want is a good, fun battle. Actually, let's talk temptology. Oh, no, no, no. Not again. No way, man. <laughs> all right, let's do this. All right. If we just go for energy manipulation on the left, and then our other move on the right, should be good. Oh, we're getting to the point where we can almost one-shot Temtem. -tem. This is nice. But I will, like, train up other Temtem. -tem. I think, like, I'll start it. I'm just going to keep training up the most because I don't... Like I said last episode, I don't think I'm going to replace it anytime soon. But, um... Let's kick that and do this. I think like Swally, Tuwai, I'll probably keep for a little bit. And we're gonna probably get a um, Gazoon around here. So I wanna try and get that out of the team because I don't think I'm gonna replace that for a long time either. Oh, it's evolving. Let's go. I love the evolution screen in this game. Nice. Lowly, hey, accept. So how many levels is that? It was like 8 or 10 levels like for it to grow a level, or to, sorry, to, for it to evolve. That is not bad at all. And that will definitely take you out. There's no way you live this. Woo! And then we'll easily take you out. Nice. I think... Um, I want to replace... Someone to train up, but I don't... I don't know. The synergy is just too good right now. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. But let's see if we can find the Temtem we need. We need a Piggy Pig. There you go. That's what we want. I guess I could probably just go hand the side quest in now because I'm going to get healed up. And on the way, maybe find something to evolve. Not evolve, sorry. Um, something to catch. Nice, and this will finish you off. I think I'll just go for a normal kick. I def oh no! Oh, damn it! Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Woo! That was close. Alright, if I did that much damage, then bamboozle, that's fine. Right, so I'm gonna. That's gonna miss. So I'm gonna. Just do this and then do this. That should put you maybe in the red. Definitely in the yellow. Okay, I'm gonna try and capture you next. Ouch. Ooh, we're close, we're close. Oh, fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, let me uh take you out. And then we're gonna throw the Tem card. We have three left after this. And I know there's one Tem Tem on this area we can get. I wanna catch, so I might have to go buy some more Tem cards. But we're getting lucky with our catch captures, which is great. Right, put that on the squad. Alright, so let's head back. We'll hand this in. Go get healed up. And hopefully on the way, we'll find one of the Temtem I want to capture. That would be good. Alright, so let's go down here. I love the Temtem follow you as well. Like, I know it sounds stupid, but... I was like, when when it like Pokemon first start, first started following you, I was like, okay, this is awesome. When they got rid of it, I was like, eh, didn't really care too much. 
But when I saw it in like um, the Isle of Armor DLC, when like I had Zorok follow me and just seeing like your favorite Pokemon follow you in this sort of graphic style, I was like, nah, this needs to be in every single Pokemon game going forward. It's so cool. Like it's so minuscule, but it, it also just adds so much. It's so nice. But let's quickly go hand this quest in before I forget. Almost run back. All right. Uh, Ao. Alright, you're back. Do you have your piggy? I do. Oink, oink, oink. Yay. Piggy, 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 piggy. Can I hold it? Sure. Oh, it's so fluffy. Look, see how it moves his little wings? I love it. Wish Liliana were here to see it. Uh, it likes you. This is amazing. Look what I have, Dad. Yay. Hey, friend, what's your name? Uh, a Legend of Zadar. Thank you very much, Hero Voltsy. One day I'll have my own real uh, piggy pick. Uh, glad to inspire you. Please revive. Won it in a raffle, but Dad won't let me play with Temtem until I'm older, so you can have it. Nice. That's probably for the best, you know. I feel like if I was a kid, a her age, and I had Temtem, I'd probably try and take over the world. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, we'll catch you. I'm gonna catch everything we don't have. Alright, let's go for a kick. And I don't think this will kill you. Actually, maybe it will. No, no, we're fine, we're fine. Nice. I'm actually gonna run back and buy a few more Tem cards. Because just having two now is a little scary, especially like what if we found a Luma? It's not gonna happen, but if we did, can you imagine like trying to get one just two Tem cards? That'd be the most stressful thing ever. I wanna make sure we have plenty of uh plenty of tries. Nice, level 13, that's good. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much money because now I know, um, you know, what this game's like later on. I don't want to have to go grind just to catch and sell Temtem -tem to make lots of money. Let's buy some Tem cards. Oh, gonna get five. How much money do I have? Um, where is the way to find out money? Would it be here? Uh, I don't know. Not yet, anyway. Pretty similar. What if I have to press this? Oh, that's the map. Cool. Alright. Let's start making our way up, and can we find the Kazuma? Nope, that's not what we want, but uh, I think I'll probably take out the Temtem on the way, because it's going to be easy to kill all the Temtem now. Just to get that sweet, sweet experience. Probably not much, but... Every little... Oh, wow. Every little helps. Like, is it even worth doing it? I mean, that's a teeny bit, but... I feel like it's probably faster than oh, trying to run away at this point. That's not what we want, man. I just killed you. Go away. <laughs> I know we can find the Temtem I want around here. So, uh... Yeah, we'll just keep looking. Don't worry about getting sense and stuff yet. Nice, just one shot on them is so nice. If we had the Cowers Cloak. Oh, so good. Like I said, I feel like if I look at the map, I feel like we get it like over here. <laughs> so not for a while. Oh, that's notifications. What does L2 do? That brings that up. Emotes. Oh, cool. How do I do an emo? Just. Aw. Oh, that's sweet. So let's go this way now. I swear that we find our auntie around here. Hey, no, you. You're Voltsy, aren't you? That's right. Ha! Ah, knew it. My, my, you've grown quick. Remember when you were a whiny toddler, always running after your piggy pick? Do you ever recognize me yet? I'm Carmen. Oh, yes. So you do remember. Remarkable. And so you're Aina's kid. I remember you playing in Zadar years ago, before I left to train Arasola. Uh, send Kalazu. I haven't been in Zadar in ages. How's she doing? Uh, she's fine, thanks. Good to hear that. Uh, she must be a bit lonely now that you're flying solo. I should have a coffee with her and catch up. Now, what have you been up to? Spent time at the uh, Academia, and then I entered the Arasola Dojo to hone my technique. Then I did some traveling and working here and there to earn some pansons. Spent time in the Marisols, learning how to use my nature temtem more effectively. Then I was in uh, Kisua for a while. How I miss the mountains and the herbal tea. Anyway, now that I'm back in Dinez, I should have paid the old town a visit. Guess I, I guess, uh, stay hi to Aina and all the old timers. So show me what you've learned. Used to pretend fight with stuffed Temtem when you were eight, remember? 
Now I'm having a real battle. How time flies. Anyway, let's tempt him up, as kids say now nowadays. Maybe he's not our auntie, but definitely, obviously, family friend. In my head, I was thinking that's definitely our auntie. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, we are going to go... Let's take you out first. Not bad damage. 2v1, we got this in the bag. Ouch. Good experience though. And this is super effective and this should easily take it out. The synergy, man, the synergy is so good. But I worry that, that I know that what kind of tempt him I want in my team later on. I just feel like they're going to be no synergy. <laughs> and then it's going to be, oh, so bad. That's fine. Hey, let's go. Uh, toxic spores. Gonna get rid of. Hmm. I feel like we're not gonna have that much defense anyway, so. Probably for the best to get rid of that. So we can lower their attack, that'd be nicer. Alright, anything around here? I think we need, again, the, the surfboard. Which ain't gonna be for a while. Kaku! Alright, let's go energy manipulation and then. So it's Urushal. Urushal? I don't know how you pronounce this. This, this move every single time I played the game for the past, what, like four or five years? No, not five years, at least four years. It's always escaped me. Which one was the first one I played Temtem, I think? When did it come out? Oh, I did not want to do that, but the good thing is you can just um, go back and change the moves. What move did I actually... Oh, Shrapnel! That's actually... I remember this being good. Uh, how do I... Details. So, reportedly, it feels like combining your brain with... Constantino Wire. Okay. It's got a good prior... Oh, it's not as good priority as energy manipulation, though. But does big damage for a little bit less... Uh, a little bit more stamina. Ayo. Hey, oh, look. A country bumpkin in typical Southern Dinner's garb. How authentic. Ah, sorry. Friend, he's a bit of a big city boy. It's showtime, peasant. That house to the right, I believe that was locked in all the early access. I don't think it was ever available, so maybe it's going to be open now. Because I feel like I said it was available in the full release. Or at least when I when I last played it, I believe it was locked. So, uh, looking forward to this. And okay, you got a Smarzy. This should be super effective. Hey, let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Is this super effective to you? It's not. Tenderness, that's absolutely fine. I feel like though, even though telekinetic shrapnel is a bit stronger, I feel like energy motivation might be better still because of the uh, the synergy. Oh, you are so lucky. I mean, it's going to finish you off. But you got so lucky, son. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, but how? Because you suck, man. You should be so rude. Can we go in here? We can. Nice. Oh. Oh, wow. This looks so awesome. Look at all the stuff on the, uh, on the shelves. So what do we have here? We've got a side quest. Man, your room looks awesome. Look at the little, little toy, like, car, motorbike. I want it. Uh, who do I speak to? You? Ah, there's an Ina's kid. You've gr uh, such a grown-up now. Hero Voltsy, was it? Look at my humble abode. I suppose you've come to admire my collections. They truly are impressive. My pride and joy, indeed. I started young, about your age, maybe, when I understood Tim Tim Taming was actually just uh, one form of collecting, and that what I really enjoyed was the thrill of bringing beautiful things together. There's nothing like the joy of having a unique set of something. I agree. The rarer and more difficult to find, the better. Seashells, Tukmani, Fungi, Simpanki, Cub... Buki, Prince, you name it. Is there anything you don't collect? There is one thing that has been in my mind a lot, and so far it has eluded all my efforts. Have you heard of Stick Tem stickers? Of course, they're legendary. Exactly. Back in my day, every kid had their Stick Tem album. They were all the rage. They're discontinued now. They went out of print almost 30 years ago. Now they're as rare as rubies. Every once in a blue panther, I managed to find a single sticker, and most of them damaged beyond repair. I'm in no shape to keep trotting around the whole archipelago, chasing leads on Stick Tem. Hordes like, um, 
Hawks like when I was younger, not to mention that I was never a keen flyer. Airships give me the cold sweats. Perhaps I can give you a hand. You'd be so kind. A new old Aina raised you well. Or raised you right. Well, it would be great if you could be my ears. So my eyes and hands out there. Give me a minute. Let me find it. Hey, you got an album? Sweet. Here, handle it with care. It's an authentic stick tem album. In a mint condition. Never find any stickers in a condition worthy enough for it. But by all means, stick in any good ones you find. Just make sure they're in good condition, mind you. Don't want to spoil this pristine album with torn, dirty or damaged stickers. It was hard enough to find. So, keep your eyes peeled and if you see something shiny out of the corner of your eye, check it out. Leave no stone unturned. You know what? You can keep the album. Really, I don't need to own it. But it will bring joy to my heart if you see it first. You see... To, to bring the heart, to, oh sorry, it will bring joy to my heart to see you fill it. There you go, couldn't get the words out right there. So that's a lot of stickers. Indeed, they used to have different series like historical characters, great inventions, natural wonders, you know. I loved them when I was a kid, before TV. Uh, they were the only way we had to know about faraway places and people. Keep them, just in case. I've heard there's a secondary market for lesser collectors who buy faulty stickers, so with the right contacts, you might still make a pretty penny from them. Thank you, I'll complete the collection. Love to see the collecting bug passed on onto a new generation. Please come back and show me your collection as it grows. I'll make sure to make it worth your while. There are plenty of trinkets you might like. Oh, nice. Okay. So you got to find your first 20 stick tem tickers. Tickers? Stickers. Can't even get the words out. So, like, do we just find, like, shiny things on the, like, floor or something? Or speak to people and we can find stuff? Was there another side quest here? I can't, let's move it. Oh, is there two people in that building? I think I saw because all the people in there. Unless it's like above us. Oh no, I think it's above us. Yeah, there's another side quest. I think that's the, um, to take a picture of, um, something. But good morning, how's the Temtem catch going? No, don't tell me. Let's see them in action. Let's do it. Your funeral. Yeah, I think that the quest above us is just to take a picture of, um, something. But that's the Temtem we want to get, man. Oh, I will find you very soon. I promise. If you can find a Luma one, they're blue. They look so nice. Man, I want it so bad. I want my little Ganky. Ooh, okay, not bad damage. Kind of wish we could take you out in one hit. Alright, so far so good, I guess. Windblade. Oh, yeah, it doesn't do too much. Hey, level 15, let's go. Luma she Oh, and I can probably one-shot that. Alright, let's do... Actually, let's go try this. And then we can try this. It's level 5 and 7. Woo, okay. I'm thinking... I've got to start training up other uh, Temtem now. Ooh, 1 HP. That was kind of lucky. Alright. Good thing it's going to make me switch anyway. <laughs> And then that will finish you off. And then one Tem Tem left. Although, Hoochick's probably going to get wrecked here if I don't switch out. Yeah, I can't one shot you. I'll just switch and someone else can get the experience. Uh, let's go side packs. I think you can take the hit well. So I think I'll probably go with 2Y and then side pack, train these two up. Unless I can find a Ganky. Oh, I was so close to one shot on you. Whew. All right. Easy peasy, though. Yeah, boy. What you love to see? Hey, level seven. Did Hoochick not grow a level? So close. All right. Uh, let's switch. So, squad. Let's go you. You and you. Right, I'm going to see if I can find a Genki. I do have my Tem Essence Vial if I need to heal up. And I am not finding any Tem Tem, man. Let's go for the battle then. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I, I can't not find a Tem Tem every step, and there's times I'm running around for a while, can't find anything. And so unlucky. Alright, come on, you two, you got this. Might be a little bit of a difficult battle here. Especially with that being level 10. Mm. Let's do that. Water cannon. Oh, man. 
Oh, they got synergy. And it poisons as well. I've had the outspeed. It's level 14? Woo, this is going to be a tough battle. Okay. Bit of rage. Attack's really high up, but if they attack me next, I'm so dead. Alright. Uh, let's hit you. Maybe I can bamboozle, so we'll be fine. Oh, I think it's like side back. No, we're fine, we're fine. That's honestly okay. Damage yourself, and we should do... Ooh, nice. Do a lot of damage here. Ooh, more attack up. Wait. I wonder how much damage I should do. Like, I feel like our attack's super high. Level 8, level 9. Hey, okay, let's go. Uh, let's go... Lowly. Just, 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 just in case. I'm a little bit worried this battle might go a little south. Mm, let's go for this. And let's take a little bit of damage, but for attack up, we should do a lot. Toxic skin? Oh, great. Oh, I did like nothing. I thought for attack up, we'd do a lot. This is not going well. Okay, uh... I'm gonna switch so you can just live. Oh, I was wrong. Tem Tem, but it's fine. Uh, get some experience for Kaku would be nice. This battle is actually kind of tough. Like, you're going from the battles we've just had to this. Oh, that's okay. That, that's weak to wind. Remember that for the future and the poison. Don't finish me off. Oh, one HP. That was close. Nice. And Saipat's almost level 10. Yep, I was literally about to use that. <laughs> oh, that's good timing. Alright, so we do this. And fully healed. Woo! And then just to replenish it, you need to go back to the uh, Temporium. Uh, oh, we got some items here. Uh, bits and pieces of silicon and high demand and some packages sold at a good price. Nice. And tiny crystal. We sold at a good price as well. Oh, what's this? Uh, fine furniture and some artisans. Okay. It's closed. Maybe I'll unlock later on. Uh, I don't know what that is. Why? Malachite is that shop over there. Although I guess if you don't know what... I don't know that. You also wouldn't know when they open, right? <laughs> exactly. Alright. Let's go to the east then. A few more battles before we get to where we need to. Alright, I'm gonna actually just do a little bit of hunting until we can find what we want. Maybe we'll get lucky and get Genki now. Come on, man. Where you at? Come on, you encounters. There we go. Genki, Genki, Genki. I mean, that's not too bad. I'll capture it. Or one of them at least. Alright, let's hit you and hit you. That's not too bad. So I'm gonna go. Ooh, it's fine. Hit you. Peck shouldn't kill you, but should put you in the red. Nice. All right. Ouch. Ooh, these guys doing a bit of damage though. All right. Let me throw a ten card at you, and then I'm gonna just hit you with this big move and hopefully take you out. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Hey, let's go. That's a 10 decks. Just check. Oh, you're so lucky. That's fine. It's fine. Wait, level 10. And we've got stare. Yeah, boy. And we'll just hit you with this. And then. Can you peck? I think a bit of damage, but it's fine. Nice. Grow them levels, boys. Alright. Let's go again. Let's see if we find a Genki. I feel like you can get Genki around here. If we don't find Genki, I'll just cut to when we do. I'm going to go for one more because I'm thinking I'm just going to run away because it'll be a lot easier. If it was Hoochick and um, Lolly, then we can probably just take him out real easy, but I'll you know, run away. Alright, if I don't find it next, then I'll cut to when I do because I feel like I could be running around for quite a while. So come on. Let's see if we can find it. Come on, Genki. 
Come on, Genki. At least be like a shiny one. Give me that Loon Log Genki. Oh, all right. I'll see you guys when we find a Genki. Okay, so I looked around for a while and I cannot find a Genki. Maybe I'm wrong and they're not in this area here. But I just could not find one. And I maybe should have gotten healed up because I took a little bit of damage trying to uh, do that. But just follow my lead. All right. Let's kick these two butts and then, uh, yeah. We'll go to the side quest over here if we can. All right. A uh, little bit weak, but we should be fine. I hope. Let's do this. We got Hoochie Little level 18. I feel like he did a take out a lot of things. Nice. And Cypress level 13 now, which is pretty good. Oof. We're fine, we're fine. Oh, Cyber, you definitely dead there. Alright, what to go into? Let's go... Piggy Pick. Train up a little bit. Alright, so if we go... Bamboozle! Then we can kick you. Try and keep Piggy Pick alive so I can just get as much experience as possible. Although, this level 8, we might be alright. Close my defense, that's fine. Try try hitting me next time. Ain't gonna happen. Bamboozle! Nice, level 6. Alright, we can just... Uh... Oh no, I can't go bamboozle again. Let's scratch you. Try to do some damage here. So close. Gonna have to rest next turn. 100%. But if we can do some damage to the Farak, it's not too bad. Right, I'll probably just scratch the Kaku and then we'll just. Uh, yeah, we have to rest. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. You might get level 7 from this, which would be nice. Come on, show me that experience. Way, let's go. The Pookie! Right, so let's scratch you. And if we go... Oh, this might be enough. Ouch. It's fine, it's fine. Definitely be enough now, actually, because you just took yourself out a bit of damage. Hey, we one-shot you. Yeah, beautiful. Take a teeny bit of damage as well. Probably comes to 22 or 20. And then scratch. Nice. Is that it? Level 8. Hey! Not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, so. Ooh. Ah, cool. We've got the Sea Queen damage, though. A stick Tem sticker. This one is badly damaged, showing the scars of time. So they are just like kind of sparkles on the floor, then. Got two quests here, actually. Hello, stranger. What brings you here? Eh, you. Ah, bold one. Surprising, and given how you uh, tem, tem Tem heads seem to care about nothing but your fights and all that, perhaps you're different. Anyway, I'm interested in changes of perspective. This little high angle view we have here is just a taste of what it must be like to look down from high above. Of course, I'm not crazy enough to plan anything regarding the high above. Don't worry, just want to see how we could understand their perspective. Suppose we could see our little dinners from above the clouds. So of course I've thought of hiring an airship to take pictures. That would be way too expensive and I'm just a gifted amateur of intellectual curiosity. But you, you could help. Really? You're a tamer, aren't you? We could use a properly uh, trained flying Temtem. Need a Temtem strong enough to carry a camera and well trained to get us exactly the shots we want. Think we, uh, you could help with that? Then give you a little reward for your trouble. Sure, for science. My young assistant, let's do this. Let me take a look at your Tempedia. Maybe this one. No, better this one. Yes, this is the one. Bring me this one. Uh, Banshee? Oh, we don't have a Banshee. Uh, Banshee? Yes, right. We need um, what we need. Strong, but also intelligent. Need to follow instructions with complete accuracy. Not just fly high. Give me a Banshee. Okay, Banshee is the um, one I believe uh, Max will have shiny later on. Alright, let's go up north. At least we've got one sticker. Need 20 more. Do you not want to fight? Oh, you do. Good day, fellow tamer. Never seen you around these parts. First time on this trail. Do me the honor of being the first to fight you. Absolutely, let's do it. I feel like a lot of the tamers um, we can battle um, are a bit distracted like reading and stuff, so you, if you want to avoid some fights you can. I feel like when I first played through the game you had to fight everyone. But this is going to be an easy fight, surely. 
Level 18. Whew. Don't matter. Big damage, and then hopefully finish you off. Venomous claws. Ooh. Oh, we're just living. Oh, you actually lived that. Wow. We got kind of close there. Ooh. Okay. Level 19, level 16. We're gaining so many levels. All right. Uh, so let's go and heal up first. I think it's the first one we do. Made to Arasola. And we definitely get healed up. Definitely do this. Alright, we good? And now, I think there was maybe a side quest over here. There's a side quest over there we can pick up. Oh, look at that! That's what I want! Is that a Luma version? Oh, that's so cool! Oh, you want to battle? Hey Tim, I'm sorry, this is a no rookie zone. Why? What is this place? Uh, Faharo drop his protected breeding ground for Faharo. So we only admit dojo tamers here to protect the habitat. And the rookies. Faharo can be pretty fierce, so close to their nests. I'll come back then. Okay. Ah! I can just kind of get boss, but it's fine. Yep, yeah, whatever. Alright. So where's the psychos I can pick up? Is it you? Hey, let's play Temtem. You're too young for battles. Ah, battles are boring anyway. I don't want to fight. I want to be a Temtem. Do, where are your where are your Temtem? Dad says I'm too young for Temtem, so I pretend to be a Temtem. You can play with me, but only if you if you know your Temtem very well. Okay, I play with you. Look, now I'm a Tatoo. Can you see me? Uh, of course. What a great Temtem you are. Uh, you're so fast. Okay. That's not the right thing to say. So fiery. Oh, okay, fiery. Not fiery. Okay, what about uh tall? Are you tall? Yes, look, I can see over everyone's head. Zoom, zoom. Blam. Look, now I'm a lolly. Now flip, flip. Oh, okay, so you're fast. Yes, okay, got that one. Now, and now you. Uh, I'm a Saku. Oh, do you like my flower? Oh, yeah. Another one, another one. Okay, so now I have a sword and we are fencing. Defend yourself, Saipat. Uh... Beat you with my Tantu? Okay, no, I was gonna say like Sai, but I wasn't too sure. Like, in my head, I'm thinking, I don't know what that weapon is. I kept thinking like a trident. Oh, I got this all again. Okay, so it's fast. Oh, uh, tentacles, that's fine, that's lucky, because I kind of skipped ahead there. Right, so it's Sai? No, I pressed the wrong one again. Wait, no, yeah, that was not, I was right. That's what I thought in my head, I, that's what I pressed last time, but you're pretty cool for a grown up here. You can have my Kiwi, I don't like them. Oh, cool. It's not bad. Alright, so the dojo's over here, which uh, I think we have to maybe do next. But this is probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we'll go to the dojo, we'll go and uh, look around Arasola, and um, see what we can find. So if you guys are watching, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.